your tie for today. But uh, before I go in here, something else, Ricardo. Because funny enough, uh, all day long, children came up to me. They told me they are afraid that there's glass in my brain. You know, all the sharks come out and I guess start to eat everybody. You know, like, like Sharknado all over again. <laughs> I don't think it's going to happen. But you know what? Uh, let's do some kind of demonstration to show everybody this class is safe and can't break, but I need a small volunteer to help me. You're right there, come right over here. We'll get us over in no time. Give him a big hand, folks. Right over here. There you go. Now, first of all, uh, what's your name? Rosh. Rosh, you like sharks? So sorry. I've been sharks a lot, Rosh, a lot. <laughs> and you know what I want you to do? Very simple. I just want you to hit this glass a few times real hard so people see you can break it, okay? Or you hold it. <laughs> see the shark right there? I think it's looking at you. If you break it, he comes after you, he knows me. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Folks, do me a favor. I mean, we've never done this before. He looks pretty strong over here. Uh, are you strong? Sure. Sure, you see, so who knows? He might break this glass. And if that happens, and all these sharks are flipping around on the floor, yeah. <laughs> then uh, please do not panic, all right? Don't panic. Just help me out, can you just pick them up? Hold them tight, then because they wiggle like crazy. You carry them as fast as you can, and to those hot dogs over there, all right? Pop them right in there and put the bubbles on. They love it. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Hit a few times, Bill Hart. We'll see if nothing happens, so we can move. Fingers, okay? Hey, anybody got like a chewing gum we can put on there? No, no chewing gum. Is it still leaking here? Uh, I know it's a lot funnier in the back than in the front. <laughs> hey, uh, can you stay here all day? Yeah. Okay, good. He kind of looks like the little Dutch boy with his finger in the dark. Okay. And I don't know what we gotta fix this. I got some, I got some duct tape over here. I sure you have. I should tell you this, uh, this whole tank here is held together with duct tape. Yeah. I built it myself, I'm not very good at it. Okay, there? Okay, here, I put the duct tape on, it should work. Is it working? It's working! Give him a big hand! All right! Very good! Hey, by the way, uh, do you know how to swim? Yes. Today's your lucky day, you're gonna swim with the sharks. All right, that's gonna be fun! Don't worry, just nibble a little bit, all right? Go right up there and, uh, oh wait, 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 are your parents here? Yeah. Where are your parents at? Right there? All right, wave goodbye. <laughs> okay, listen carefully, you climb on top of the tank, okay? In the middle is a big hole, you're gonna go all the way to the bottom, and you wave to everybody, but, but watch out, eh? because the sharks might think your head is a fish. You no, know, when you wave it like that, bite right into it, okay, ready? Okay. Okay, have fun, there you go. <laughs> Don't take very long, you sharks. I haven't eaten yet. Hey, wait, 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 nurse sharks in there. And the reason that they call nurse sharks, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> but most likely is because when they bite into something, they make like a sucking noise. So maybe that's why they're called nurse sharks. You know? Now they're pretty lazy sharks. Most of the time you see them sleeping or resting on the ocean floor. Not all sharks have to swim in order to breathe. Actually, all Bottom fellas can just lay down stationary, pump water over the gills, that's how they get the rocks. Now, they're also pretty, dos uh, <laughs> pretty docile sharks, but you still have to watch out for them because they do have a very powerful bite. They got one of the most powerful bites of all sharks. They don't look like it, but they do have it though. But there is some good news if you get bit by a nurse shark. Good news is they got very small teeth. Bad news, they got hundreds of them. <laughs> All right, one last thing before I jump in here. Uh, a lot of people ask me if you can train a shark or if they recognize me. Oh yeah, can't train a shark. 
There is no such thing as a trained shark. A shark got a very short and attention span, you know? So it's pretty tough to train an animal like that. And do they recognize me? No, they do not. That makes absolutely no difference. If I jump in this thing, or any one of you jump in there, because to them, uh, we all taste like chicken. <laughs> anyway, I'm a big chicken here. I gotta go in there. I gotta change this mic out one moment. This mic doesn't work on the water, but I have one.